Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for Friday, March 11th, 2022. So yesterday we had an inflationary reading hit 7.9%, and Janet Yellen says today to expect those inflationary impacts to continue to maybe go up for the next year and be impacts to the market. But we can only see bullishness um, after that number today and saw those bulls come in and rally after a short time um, pushing lower. And now this morning we're trying to gap up further um, as we try to shake off all of that concern. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. I don't know if you're a little bit as confused as I am how we can see this rising inflation and impacts to the consumer um, as a bullish thing, but that's what we see this morning. And so the bulls are coming in pretty strong and hard here today. European markets are shar sharply higher this morning, even as Russia advances on Kiev. So let's take a look here. Um, we have our downtrend in play, and we're trying to press up toward that resistance level in the chart. And notice that we're pushing up through, we're gapping up through this level. We haven't been able to really push through here recently. We're gapping up through that level this morning, and we may be pushing up here to test this next level of resistance in the chart. Now, one of the things we do have to consider and remember that these over, these big overnight gaps can sometimes just be met with some selling. So we have to watch for the potential of that whipsaw or even the pop and drop as we push up into this resistance level. And remember, we have some uh, numbers coming out here yet this morning that could make an impact on these charts. So watch that closely. We also saw energy prices or prices at the pump continue to rise. Uh, national gas prices went to $5.33 a gallon and diesel went to $5.13 a gallon, raising the prices on virtually everything we buy and do here in the country. Now how that is warranting a, a rally, the only thing I can say is we're just tired of the selling. We're tired of of the the market is just fed up we we we're tired of the pressure on the market and we just want to buy something we just want to rally so if that is the case watch these levels up here as we push up and push into those downtrends here in the chart and keep in mind guys our technicals here are still very dismal in these charts albeit that we are maybe just a short-term oversold um, slightly here in the market. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, watch those resistance levels for entrenched bears. Also, if we take a look at the SPY, SPY, continuing in the downtrend, getting a substantial gap up this morning, and you can see we're gapping up through this price resistance in the chart. Now, it, it does make you wonder um, if we can sustain that through the day, but we'll want to watch that closely. Remember, as we kind of slide into the weekend and we see um, things uh, not getting better over there in Ukraine, but actually getting worse. Um, and with the, our inflation and impacts here, I just can't imagine the consumers are feeling very good um, overall. But watch that closely as we push into those resistance levels. And remember, guys, that as we push on up, we have a lot of data coming at us next week um, that um, will include a, an FOMC rate decision. So watch that close. And notice that our 50 ever so close to crossing down through that 200 day moving average next week, um, we'll see that cross occur. Let's take a look at our um, QQQ. Now our QQQ certainly had a rough day yesterday. Still, um, we just couldn't quite come back, but boy, we're surging this morning here on the NASDAQ. So we're pushing up to some fairly significant levels of price resistance in the downtrend here in the NASDAQ. We'll want to keep a close eye on that today as we test these price resistance levels in the chart and keeping in mind 
our technicals here are pretty bearish um, overall in those charts. We also want to pay attention here on the Russell, which has held up better than um, really the other indexes here in the chart, holding a little bit of a higher low in here. We still have significant price resistance levels in the chart to deal with, and we are trying to break through that resistance of that downtrend, depends on how you draw it, trying to break through the resistance of the downtrend here um, this morning in the gap up. Let's watch that closely though, even if we do pop on through there, just keep in mind we have a, a truly massive resistance level above in the chart. And the technicals in these charts, not good, where that 50-day moving average is coming into play here very quickly on the IWM as price resistance. Let's take a look at our VIX. Interestingly enough, um, our VIX pulled back yesterday even even with the rising of inflation and really push down with a surge in the last few minutes of the day as that dark pool activity was consolidated to the market. Now let's take a look right in here. We have still an upside trend here um, in our uh, VIX, but this gap up this morning is likely going to drop us down below that trend. So watch that closely. Now it, it is also possible we had that big, big gap up the other day and it really barely moved. Um, the needle here on um, on the VIX. So watch that closely. Now if we can drop down in here, let's keep in mind that we have some price levels in here right around 30 um, that could hold us here in the VIX. And if we can drop down through there, watch that 25 level in the chart because there is a significant level right through there that runs a long way. So nice to see it pulling back a little bit, a little bit of fear dropping off, but I wonder if it's maybe more denial than anything else because um, the consequences for our economy don't look good at the moment. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at our uh, T2122. And T2122, kind of interesting yesterday, we whipsawed again. Um, and that's what we've been doing a lot of is just we whip up and whip down. It's just all emotion and these big swinging moves in the market. And we had pushed down into a about this area yesterday on T2122 and the initial selling, but boy, as those buyers came in and we pushed up, just really shaking off and ignoring inflation, as you can see, we're kind of in the mid range here on T2122. So if those bulls can grab a hold here and continue to push up, we're likely to see um, in this gap up open, we'll be right back up here in the bearish reversal zone at the open this morning if they can continue to push through that upside. However, we do have a number coming out here, the consumer sentiment number, that I think would be kind of surprising if it comes in bullish. Um, if it if the bears find a reason to um, re-engage here before the open, just keep in mind we have about an equal amount of downside here before we hit that oversold area in the chart. So um, heading into Friday, you just never know. We've had some pretty good Fridays here recently where we just kind of shake off all of the selling and we try not to care. But one thing we do want to pay attention to is just how weak the volume has been over the last couple of days as we're trying to rally. Let's take a look at our T2108. Um, Oops, T2108, there we go. If I could learn how to type one of these days. T2108 um, um, held up pretty well, just kind of flat yesterday, um, even with the buying that came in. So we stayed about at the same place that we opened yesterday, right around that 37% of the stocks holding above the 40 day moving average. So we are really truly seeing those bulls trying to stiffen up a little bit and hold some price levels in the charts. But um, we still have this big overall downtrend and we have quite a little price resistance above so it's pretty hard to call this you know really bullish or say that we have sounded the all clear in the market if we take a look at the t2107 very much the same thing we kind of held our own yesterday and just kind of drifted along sideways here in t2107 um, 30 percent of our stocks holding in there above the 200 day moving average again a little bit of hopefulness that those bulls are stiffening up a little bit and they're they're trying to hold in here 
But let's keep in mind we have significant resistance levels above and this massive downtrend yet to defeat in the chart. So not exactly um, that warm and fuzzy that we'd probably like to see here um, in the market. If we take a look at our T2101, it's been very interesting with the volume being so low in the market for the last couple of days. T2101 has barely made a move and that really does set us up for a big move one way or another and maybe that move is the up this morning so keep an eye on that but we're trying to trying to figure out what what where we go from here and volume has just been extremely low so keep an eye on that t2101 says a big move could be on the way watch that closely our um, economic calendar today well here first let's just take a real quick look look at how low our volume came in as we're rallying up now that does give me a little bit of concern that we're rallying on such low volume into the downtrend so you want to pay attention to that as we push into these resistance levels just realize there is that possibility that we could be we could see bears lining up in defense um, along these areas and downtrend so watch watch closely because the volume to the upside very very weak here um, overall I'm not sure exactly what that means but it does make me a little bit pensive about um, you know just how bullish this really is then let's take a look at that economic calendar now our economic calendar the um, pretty light day today on that calendar but we have consumer sentiment and consumer sentiment according to the consensus is expected to decline again this has been um, a pretty dismal number and I just can't imagine that um, as um, as fuel prices rise the way they are prices in the grocery stores going up dramatically and likely to continue going up according to uh, Janet Yellen she says the inflationary impacts um, likely for another year where that transitory word go it kind of seemed to disappear all of a sudden well <laughs> as you can see here um, this number if it comes in weaker than expected um, that could be the market mover for the day and could be a nice insight as to how we might be thinking um, things may progress into next quarter um, because it's going to be hard to imagine that earnings next quarter are going to be very strong with the conditions that we see here in the market but you never know so watch that closely and then on the earnings calendar earnings um, much lighter day here on the calendar we have um, a pretty large number on that earnings calendar today um, of, of stocks about 58 companies listed but a huge number of those are uh, not confirmed so there's not very many notables for today let's take a quick look we're going to hear from the buckle looks like uh, buckle has gotten a nice report here trying to push up it's true it could be just a factor of the big pop that we're seeing in the futures right now but watch that closely um, pushing up toward these price resistance levels but nice that it's breaking through um, that downtrend um, F U T U also reporting today um, kind of flat here a little inside day looks like it could be setting up here at the open obviously big downtrend in play and significant levels of price resistance above as well as downtrend so a lot of work needs to be done there on that chart uh, GENI I have put that on the list um, as a potential notable but I got to tell you a lot of these stocks that are reporting today these little guys small caps not likely to be market moving in any way shape or form uh, PLXP is also on the list today obviously another pretty ugly downtrend um, and not looking so good here on that chart if we look at RGF this one might be interesting today because it is a packaged food and we know food has been um, seeing some pretty substantial increases along with all of those ag inputs and things like that substantial increases as those commodities continue to rise so watch that one closely and last but not least on the list today um, SPNE 
E-S-P-N-E. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on that for today. Um, this has got a little higher low going for it, as you can see. We're breaking that downtrend and pushing through some resistance levels in the chart. So that's actually a very, very bullish looking pattern right now. Could be an important report here today to see if it can follow through to the upside. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for the day. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one. And if you find that these videos are useful and helpful in the planning of your trading day, if you could please click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment, helps the channel to continue to grow. And thank you so much guys, 26,600. I never would have expected um, that much support for the channel. And by the way, if you missed it yesterday, um, I did um, do my first successful test of a live feed yesterday. We talked a little bit about price action in the chart. So if you missed that, um, um, make sure you pay attention because the folks who've been supporting the channel through Buy Me A Coffee has made that possible. So thank you everyone, um, everyone for that. And I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And keep in mind, guys, that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, I'd be a little bit careful and cautious with the big gap up this morning because that requires you to chase into that move and makes a um, the risk of a pullback pretty high. Remember how many whipsaws and pop and drop patterns we have had in this market recently. So we, when we get that big emotional gap, it just adds a lot of danger to your trading. But that being said, there are stocks out there that are pretty darn interesting to pay attention to. One of them I'm going to bring up today is SQ. Now SQ has been struggling a lot and I'd had a price alert here on this chart and it just didn't follow through. It couldn't make that move. But notice that we did hold this downtrend here as support. We're starting to see just that little bit of clue that we might hold these downtrends in here and try to push up. So watch that closely. Now, one of the rules that I trade by is even though we have this higher low in here, once we fail a price support, the stock has to recover that price support and hold before it can move on higher to the upside. So watch that closely. So I'll be watching this if that can push on through. Again, it's got some work here to do, but pretty interesting chart. I do think you want to take a look at alternative energies. Take a look at uh, uh, TAN here, guys. Solar energies, as our gas prices go up, and I suspect they will continue to do so, um, if you watch right in here, we have some very bullish patterns here moving up in a trend. Let that rest or consolidate out here toward this trend and look for that next opportunity. And you could see that in really a lot of these um, solar stocks. If you take a look at those in the ETF here, lots of really good looking price patterns. So as these charts continue to rally, holding price support levels, holding higher lows, look for that next opportunity for those to maybe push on through for solar is another that's looking good. This ENPH, very very nice looking charts. So keep a close eye on those. I think you might want to keep an eye on those metals as well. By golly, um, uh, metals have been extremely strong. Um, this is US Steel pushing on through. I've been mentioning this chart here for a while. This thing broke out, held support levels in the chart. You guys heard me talk about that a few days ago. And we're continuing to push on up in this chart. Now I will say in the short term, this is kind of extended. Now you could draw a trend through here and kind of say this right in here was an outlier. But notice here we pushed up strongly. Watch for that possibility this could rest or pull back in here and then look for that next opportunity in U.S. Steel. You could also take a look at um, STLD, Steel Dynamics, looking good, pushing back up through uh, these levels, holding in there and looking pretty strong overall. Um, you got to keep your eyes on anything in mining. Um, um, there we go. Um, we're, we've had a little bit of volatility right here and I will tell you that I do think some of these mining stocks may be a little bit extended and need a little bit more consolidation or rest, but keep an eye on them. Newmont Mining, Bering Gold, um, 
AUY. These are very, very strong stocks as our commodity prices continue to move up. And by the way, in the Spider Select sector ETFs, there are only three uh, three of the spider select sector ETFs that continue in a 20 day um, 20 day um, trend to the upside and that is metals and mining and that is um, oil and gas or, or energy and oil and gas expor exploration everything else is below 20 day trends although they are trying to recover there is a lot of work that needs to be done before we get this market truly moving to the upside. So watch some of these stocks. Now you could also take a look at um, those areas in um, in um, commodities. Take a look at MOS, Mosaic. Very, very strong here. Mosaic has been extremely uh, bullish here. Um, stocks like CF, anything in the farming uh, commodity uh, price area has held up really really well and you can certainly see um, the evidence of that when you look at some of the energy stocks as well um, Devon Energy remaining quite strong holding in this um, resting pattern could easily set up for the upside we've got Exxon Mobil that has been looking really good um, Halliburton um, whoops there we go. Halliburton has been very strong. Um, Schlumberger, just look through the energy stocks. They're all going up. And I got to tell you, with inflation the way it is and, and um, the demand destruction that's happening um, out there in the market, there is certainly the possibility that um, these can continue to move to that upside. So watch that closely. I did see, however, that CVX did receive a downgrade today, um, and this has been extremely extended. Um, so watch that close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And more importantly, I want to wish you an awesome, awesome weekend. Be safe out there. Remember, guys, I will be leaving today, heading out on a vacation. Um, haven't had a week-long vacation in I can't even remember how many years back, but I'm gonna to attempt to do it this time, so I will be gone all next week. That means no morning market prep videos for next week. I do apologize for that, but um, um, hopefully you'll forgive me and I'll be back the next week just cranking things up just like normal. So everyone, I wanna wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early um, next week. Have a good one, everyone.